What's up guys, iAppleTuber here and today I am going to show you guys how to downgrade from iOS 10.2.1 to iOS 10.2 so with that way you can finally be able to jailbreak your device as I already showed you guys yesterday with a video on how to actually jailbreak iPhone 6s, 6s plus, iPhone SE and your iPad Pro as of the time being more device support will be here very soon so it's very simple and just to show you guys let me just go to my settings general about so here as you can see guys this device is on ios 10.2.1 so that means you cannot be able to jailbreak this so now i'm going to show you guys how to downgrade from ios 10.2.1 to ios 10.2 so all you need is just your computer and your device and follow the video okay guys just before getting onto your computer go ahead and get your charging cable and go ahead and connect it to your device and make sure that your computer does recognize your device now that you have it connected get onto your computer and follow this video okay guys now that you're onto your computer all you want to do first as i already mentioned make sure to connect your device and then make sure to also have itunes already installed onto your computer mac or windows doesn't matter make sure that you have itunes or else this will not even work so then there's going to be a link in the description which you guys want to go ahead and click on to take you right here to ipsw downloads so here is the place where you actually be able to get the IPA for the iOS 10.2 so in this page first thing first you want to choose your product if it's iPhone iPad iPod for the sake of this jailbreak it's going to be on the iPhone and iPad so let's go with the iPhone which is my device right now which is an iPhone 7 plus GSM so you might be confused how do you even know if it's GSM or global all I did was just go to identify my iOS go to identify my iOS once there guys I went ahead and clicked on iPhone, I entered my device model number. So if you don't know what your model number is, it's just behind your iPhone. So it's at the bottom of your iPhone, it says model followed by a few numbers. So go ahead and enter that and it will go ahead and enter here. It will tell you your device exactly as of it. So let me go back to the home section. Once again, choose the product iPhone and this device is the iPhone 7 plus GSM. And as I mentioned guys, only iOS 10.2 and 10.2.1 is only signed. And just to let you guys know, Apple will stop signing the iOS 10.2. So make sure that you get this before Apple stops signing it. So choose whatever you want. So I'm going to go with the iOS 10.2 as we're trying to downgrade. And then you want to click on download. As you can see already, I have gone ahead and downloaded this before the video just to make the process a bit quicker. So here as you can see, here's the IPA onto my device. As we have already connected our device, you want to go ahead and open your iTunes. As you can see, here it is. Let me go ahead and open it. Now you want to go to your iPhone data, which is here, this small iPhone. Click on that. Okay, guys, now once you're here, here's just, you want to go to the summary of your iPhone. And here as you can see, it will just give you a small summary of everything. And now here it says iOS 10.2.1 as I already showed you guys. Now, you don't, you don't want to click on check for update or restore. What you want to do is as simple as this. So, you want to go ahead and click on shift and click on that. So click on shift. If you're on Windows, click on shift and then click on that. And then you want to go to your desktop or wherever that file is. So here's the file. Click on it. Click on open. So once again, click on shift and then click on check for update. Here's we say that you want to update your iPhone to iOS 10.2, click on update. So once you do that, now it will go ahead and update your iOS 10.2.1. Better say it's going to downgrade your iOS 10.2.1 to iOS 10. Point. So this process can take about five to 10 minutes. Make sure that you're patient and let it downgrade to iOS 10.2. So I'll be right back with you guys once my device is on iOS 10.2. And just to let you guys know before someone goes ahead and ask me, with this process, you will not lose any data. When I say any, I mean any data will not be lost if you choose to the update, which I did now. But if you go with the restore, you will lose your data. So make sure that you, first of all, do a backup just to be safe and then do the update method if you do not want to lose your device data or else it will all be gone. Okay guys, so right now my device did update and now it should downgrade to iOS 10.2. Let's go ahead and check with ourselves. So go to settings general about and right there as you can see guys it is on ios 10.2 and with that it means that now it is compatible for a jailbreak as there is a jailbreak for ios 10.2 right now so if you guys did miss the video yesterday and if you want to jailbreak your device since it's ready already so there's going to be a card right there check out it right there it is and also at the end of this video at the 20 second before this video ends there's going to be an annotation with your mobile device or computer, you can click on the annotation, you can watch the video directly. Just to also mention, the link of that video will be in the description on how to jailbreak your iOS devices. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did guys, don't forget to drop a thumbs up for the video, it will really help us. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Much more videos on the way. Have a great day guys, iApple, Tuber here, signing off.